Good morning, everyone. This is Pooh. So I miss you guys so much. For some reason, last week we didn't have the uh, we we didn't have live. Uh, but for now, yes, we know this is time for our live. And you know that the Children's Day is right coming, right? The June first is the, um is the date of tomorrow. So uh, I think it's time to make some toys for our children. But I think the um, you guys you know, who are watching our live must be some uh, must be grown uppers, right? Uh, but I believe uh, there must be children around you. Uh, around you, maybe they are your niece, your children, your kids, your son, your daughters, some or your students. Um, but I think I want to show you that our machine cannot uh, do not only. Uh, um, do not. Uh, it cannot be only used on uh, um, com uh, industry, but also can be used to make some handcrafts. And I think you can do something like make a uh, children's toys of your own, and as a gift of Children's Day, I think that can be really memorial, uh, memor memorable so you can see this board that's what i'm going to teach you guys to do for this for today's live and you can see this is a puzzle and your children can just split it up and just set it in and it, it is also a color painting game because the thing is not colored already uh, uh, after our machines engraving and cutting, uh, it will get some raw version like this one. Yeah, this is an animal version. So I'm going to show you. Yeah. Oh, it's too light. Maybe I can. Oh, yeah, it fell off. Maybe I can place it. Okay. Can you guys see it? Yes. It's an animal version of the puzzle. So for today's live, I'm going to show you how to make this and to make this one. First, you need our machine, the Auto Leader Master 3, and we need a piece of plywood board. Uh, for today's live, we chose the thickness of 3 millimeters. Okay, let's set it here. Okay, before everything starts, let's introduce our, the, uh, our start for today, the Auto Leader Master 3. So this is this must be very familiar for our old friends, but I believe some new friends may do not know what this is. So let me tell you, the Auto Laser Master Three is our company's most uh, the latest flagship laser engraver. Its uh, engraving area you can see here is four hundred by four hundred millimeters, and but if you got larger en uh, engraving area needs, uh, we also have the extension keys. Yes, it is an accessory uh, that can make the engraving uh, area larger from 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters to 400 millimeters by 850 millimeters. So that means it even uh, that make the engraving area larger than doubled. So uh, it can do much more things. So if you got bigger uh, needs we uh, we also can apply that so that is for the engraving area for the engraving speed um, due to the 10 watt laser module and this stable structure um, by the way this laser module is extremely light it only weighs 235 grams so you can see and so it do not take a big effort to lift it up that means the laser module uh, the machine will keep stable while the arm take the module to move around. So that's why we uh, that's why we can reach the maximum speed to 20 mil, uh, 20,000 millimeters per, uh, per minute. So that is quite fast. Uh, so that is the engraving area and the engraving speed. What's more, we got some uh, we got many safety measures look at the machine in the uh, and in the front arm you can see a red button so that is called the emergency stop button so why we call it the emergency stop button it's just like the emergency stop button from the running machine you can see in the gym it's kind of the same function if you find something uh, something's wrong no matter the power delivery is wrong 
or the files run or the material you are engraving or cutting is caught in fire, you can just press this button and every function will stop. Uh, because you know in some uh, in some situation, the really, really busy situation, you may not you may forgot to unplug the wire or just cut off the power. But this red button is really easy to see, easy to notice. You just need to press it and every function will stop. Right next to the emergency stop button is the safety lock. Uh, it's just like the name, it is the lock. So if you use the key to it, to lock it, the machine won't work. It is a good way to keep the machine safe if you just want to place the machine in your workplace or, uh, or somewhere else. Also, it is a good way to protect the person around this machine because you, we know this is a laser machine. So that means if someone that do not know this machine use it, it may hurt, uh, it may hurt itself, uh, himself or herself. Uh, so um, such as if you place this at home, Yes, your children may not. Uh, your children may not know what this machine is. So if if they just open this, uh, turn on the machine accidentally, maybe the laser will harm the, uh, do harm to their eyes. Uh, as well as if you place it in your workplace, your colleague may not know what this is, right? So I think the safety lock is a really really con convenient function. So what's more, we talk. We always talk about the safety and the safety is in our concern. So um, we also have uh, more safety measures like the movement detection, the laser duration and, and explosion det detection, the voltage and uh, current monitoring, and the connection detection. So talking about the connection detection, that means uh, once the machine lost control to your computer or your phone, yes, your phone, uh, you can see here, our machine, can connect not only through the USB cable but also the Wi-Fi connection. So that means here, let me show you. So you can see here, this is our application called the Laser Explorer. Um, it is both available on it is both available on App Store and Google Play. So that means uh, no matter you are iOS devices users or Android devices user, you can always get this application. Um, so what's the difference between the application and the software on the computer? Our application is more easy to see and less step for engraving. Uh, it has guidance steps and some interesting function. So uh, someone, uh, somebody may think, oh, I'm not a professional user. I just want to use our laser engraver for some fun, for some handcraft. I do not want to learn the complicated software like the laser GRBL, the laser gerbil, or the light burn. Uh, yes, we know that's for, uh, for more professional users, right? Uh, yes, uh, by the way, the, so uh, the software called the light burn is what we are gonna use for today's live. And so for this choice, our application can do a lot uh, like the control, um, setting the statistics, and, some, and engrave a barcode, a QR code. Yes, you can even make puzzle by using our application. But it's not like the puzzle we are going to do today. It's, kind of, it's the normal puzzle, like one piece by one piece. So that is our application. I think this is kind of easy for some new users. So if you want to try our engraver, this is a really good start. So I think this is some in brief introduction about our machine. So I hope you guys um, got a big, uh, got an image of this machine. And if you want to get more information, you can ask us on the comment area. So let's dive into today's slide and as long as we're gonna do this, we need the plywood board and let me place it to the engraving platform. Okay, I forgot to turn on the machine. Let's turn on the machine.
Okay, so so you uh, look at here. Okay, uh, turn on the split camera, please. Okay, Fenjing. To the left corner. Yes. Okay, make it a little bit larger. Okay, so guys, you see, and uh, now I'm starting the machine so you can find our devices here. So we got this COM3, that is the that is the machine's number, and we set the statistics, the OM3, yes, which is the short for auto the master three. Uh, you see, this is the surface of the light burn. So for today, we're gonna do this. Let me find it. Okay. Yes, here. That is the thing we made for today's live and you can see here. Okay, it's kind of easy to make this uh, such, to make such, uh, such um, puzzle. So let me show you. It is kind of easy. You just need to pull this picture to the desktop of the, of the software. You got this picture and you choose the chase the image and you, and now you see the pink lines are on the right place so i'm just check okay so we got this it's kind of thing like this right so what i'm gonna do more is to okay so ungroup it so there are for some spare one by one and now you chose this one okay do not delete the original objects and make it a little bit larger check okay so now you see we got the same thing like this one so what's more you just need to use the Okay. So. Okay, now you see we got one just like this. So what's, what you're gonna do more is to just do the same step for each each thing, and we and use this uh, use this uh, you see here the square here to check a square and use the round uh, use this function to make it to a round angle. So now you can frame this thing just like this one. So it's quite easy to set this file. Okay, let me check some comments. Okay, wait a minute. So uh, it's quite easy to make this file. And so let's go back to for today's. We're going to do this animal puzzle. So we only use this one. We do not use, uh, we, do, we do not use the butterflies for today. So here we got this. Uh, you can see, okay, let me delete this. So you can see more clearly. So now we got these lines, you can see the red lines and the blue lines. And so you just use your right, uh, you just right click the layer you chose 
you can see which layer they are pointing to. So for the red lines, obviously we just want to cut it off. So we use the speed of 200 and 100% power. And only one pass is enough to cut off the applied wood board. So everything set down. For the line version, that is what we call this. So you can see, we just use our machine to line these pictures. So for line, uh, I want to, I wanted to get a really darker version. So I use the speed of 1800. So I think they are almost a good, uh, they are the best statistics for me. So. Uh, if you want to cut plywood or plywood board or just want to try to engrave plywood board, they are both okay. So, okay, let me see. Okay, I think everything is set. So, but I have to pay, uh, I have to tell one thing every time before you start this, uh, start this. You have to wear the goggle, but right now we have to check the place for it. So, um, make the split camera a little bit smaller. Okay, ah, uh, 分镜调小一些 Okay, yes, yes. Okay, so, uh. Now you can see the machine and the software itself. Um, so now we got this, everything set. Now we just need to find the place of the... Find the place of the picture, but before you do the uh, before you start engraving, don't forget to check the focus. So it is easy to check the focus. Uh, let me show you. You just need to pull down the focusing rod of the laser module. Let the rod touch the objects you're gonna do engraving work or cutting work on, and tighten the screw. Let me show you. Okay, pull down the rod, loosen the screw. Move it to the right height and tighten the screw. You see, it's kind of easy, but you need to uh, use a little bit strength to tighten the screw really tight um, because you do not want the laser module falling down while using uh, while engraving. So here, let's let the laser module go home. So, do we just connect it? Okay, let me check whether it's the USB cable of our machine is loose because the power bank of our, our computer is a little bit broken. So, Okay. 
Wait, let me see. Why is waiting connection? Okay, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna do the. Okay, down young, younger. Sorry, I just、uh, I just watch the comments at this moment. So the thickness of the plywood is three millimeters, and yes, make sure the key is turned on as well. I don't know why our machine is not connecting it. And just wait a minute. Okay. Yes, this is our tech support. Okay, would you please see why this machine won't working? How much more million? Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks to our、uh, tech support. Yes, they, I, I said our USB cable、uh, ch changer like this one sometimes broke a little bit. So I always need help, but don't that was that is okay. We just made it, and let's get it home and check the frame.、Uh, by the way, our plywood、uh, is a little bit. Smaller than the picture, so I'm just gonna change the statistics. So you see now it is three hundred millimeters wide, but now I'm just changing it to two hundred and ninety-five. So we got this one. So now let's check frame. So you see, while I check the frame button, the laser module is going to、uh, show the picture's place, and you can change the speed here. If I want to see it more,、uh, I want to see it in a really, really slow,、um, slow speed. Like I'm gonna do some really small picture. Sometimes, if you use too fast speed,、uh, maybe you cannot see where it is. But you can change it here. You see, I just frame it with really, really small speed. Yes, yes.、Um, because I'm not professional to machine, I but、uh, I only use it.、Uh, but sometimes it just go wrong because I do not know how to change some setting. That's why we got the tech support. So if you got any problems, you can always ask your sellers. Our tech support will help you. So, but、uh, for this big image、uh, picture, I think eight hundred eight thousand is okay. So once again, check the frame. So I think is in the right position. So I'm just wearing my goggle and click start, and check the statistics once more: two hundred, eight hundred, and to see what time we're gonna use. Okay, twenty two mi、uh, minutes. Okay, acceptable. Let's click start.
Okay, now you can see the engraving process from the corner. Yes, here. You can see it here. Uh, yes, uh, the setting of this picture, we just did the cutting part first and then engraving. So if you guys uh, got any questions, you can ask me and I will give you the answer. Uh, if, you are, uh, you, if you are just coming to our uh, live stream, uh, this is Ultra's Live and you're watching the Ultra Leader Master 3 uh, cutting this animal wooden puzzle. And we've already made one like this. So while waiting for you guys to comment, I will finish the coloring of this one to show you what's the result. So it is a very good, a good way to enjoy the children and parent time with your kids. Uh, because you can, you can pull out the, those little pieces first and uh, make, uh, let your children and you to do the painting work together. And after finish that, you can ask your uh, children to do the puzzle. I think that is kind of interesting. But um, yes, it's for some younger children, right? For some older children, maybe it's a little bit, uh, it's too easy. So yes, let me think. For this little cat, I think, yes, we're going to use the picture. What about orange? I think orange cat can be really cute. OK, but I think. With this orange goggle on, <laughs> my eyes to see the color is kind of different. Um, hope I, I won't screw this up. So when talking about Children's Day, to myself, I think Children's Day is something uh, happened in my primary school period. And that is the most interest festival to that time. Uh, because in that day, our school won't have class. Uh, we just play games. Uh, each class has their own, own, own activity, maybe play some play some dancing or singing, and we have free snacks and some uh, also really, really much games to play. So to me, the Children's Day is really a good memory. But who says I cannot, uh, who says I cannot celebrate Children's Day, right? So if you are, I think that is about what you think in your heart. Mm -hmm. So uh, though we are making the children's toys for today, but you can always use our machine to make some toys of your own. Uh, not, only, not only do the wood, wood cutting, right? Because uh, do you have an air assist on? Uh, no, because the air, you can see the air pump right next there. Uh, because the sound is a little bit loud, uh, it, it, uh, the, it will do some, uh, it will just let my voice a little bit lower because the mic will, uh, will assume the sound from the air pump is kind of noisy. So, uh, actu uh, so normally I won't use the air pump while doing the live, but after, uh, but after live, uh, while I'm truly doing something, uh, just like the plywood thing, we will, uh, I will just use the air pump because we know the wood can be easily burned and the, being, the smoke will cause it a little bit yellow age. So you can see, this is what I did on the room. So you can see still the area. But if you use it with the air pump on, yeah, it's time for these two stars. You can see with the air pump on, you can see this, uh, the difference of these two stars. 
And this one is the uh, with the air pump on. This one is with the air pump on, and this one is without. Okay, it's a little bit hard to see, but yes, in this one. So you see, this one is without uh, with the air pump on, and this one is without air pump on. You can see this one. The without air pump, you can see the yellow area and the burned part. That is because the smoke won't be chased away right on time. It just st uh, just stay on the surface and make it yellow. Uh, but with the air pump on, it will just chase away the f uh, smoke uh, that caused by the wood. Uh, also, you can see the engraving platform of, of from Motor. You can see it. Uh, you can see several gaps, so that is designed for chasing the uh, to guide the smoke away. You can see, you can see from the camera because we got a big fan on the next side here. You can see it, but uh, yes, it's kind of hot, so we turn on the fan. So you can see with the fan chasing the smoke just go away through the gaps. You see. Mm -hmm. So with these two things together, we can get a better wood performance. So if you think, uh, if you are mo most doing the wood cutting scene, wood cutting job, wood engraving job, you can always choose our air pump uh, because uh, it's not like I'm doing the live, right? If you just are doing the cutting wood job more, you always need this air pump to make your job uh, much more perfect. So let's keep painting. So it's kind of um, kind of interesting for me though. Uh, let me think. Okay, let's stay here. Maybe yellow. Okay, black for eyes. Okay, now we got this orange cat. Sorry, I don't know how, what it looks like uh, take, if I take the goggle off. But yes, this is what it looks like. So if you think it is ugly, um, yes, I accept it. Uh, but I think you guys are more uh, uh, more uh, imaginative and your children can be really more imaginative. Maybe to them the cat can be any kinds of color, purple, blue, uh, yellow, orange, green, cut out. So whatever, this is Children's Day. So yes, the pink, um, maybe use the pink. So what is the color? Okay, after I finish painting this little cute pig, let me introduce some other materials that our machine can do engraving work on or cutting work on. Okay, now I finished with this. Reset this. Okay, here. It's time to introduce our machine's material and look at this board. So you can see from this board, these are several materials that our machine can do engraving work or cutting work on. First, look at this corner. There are several pieces of leathers 
And you can see for letters, we can do both engraving and cutting. And you can see the engraving part is really sharp and easy to see. And the cutting edge is really sharp and smooth. Yeah, these are all leather pieces. And for this one, this little cute deer is made from a whole piece of felt. So you can see this shape was cut by our uh, machine. This star was cut by our machine. By the way, not only cutting, but also engraving can be done on the felt, uh, on the felt material. So for this one, we only show you that we just engrave it, uh, just, we, we just cut it. But I have, to, uh, I have to tell you that for the felt, uh, not only the felt, for all materials, darker color means uh, higher efficiency. So for the yellow, light yellow felt, we always need a much slower speed than the brown one or the green one. So for this one, I may only use 600 to 800 to cut it off, but for the yellow part, I need to use 200 or even slower. So that is the felt. And look at these two, these four clothes. You can see canvas, you can see denim pieces. So for canvas, you see, and it is really good to being cut, being engraved. Uh, for denim, it's the same. You can see it cut really sharp and engraved really sharp. You can see the ultra here. So for such clothing, uh, it can be easily cut, it, uh, it easily cut and easily engraved. But, I am, but due to the texture of, uh, of canvas itself, uh, you can see the fluff area of the cutting edge. So if you do not like this kind of feeling, just do not use our machine to cut it. And let's talk about metal. So for the metal thing, only the stainless steel or some other several kind of metal can be directly engraved on. Yeah, this is engraved, you can see, directly engraved. Some other material like this, this piece of aluminum card, it needs to be coated to be engraved. You see, this is a pink one. So we just engraved on the pink surface to make this O-R-T-U-R. So um, this one is a piece of paper. You see this head was cut in, these lines were engraved. So um, on Mother's Day's Live, uh, I believe we made some engraved letters to mom, and that shows our machine can even engrave letters on, uh, on the let, uh, engrave, engrave letters on such kind of pieces. So not only for the, not only for the thick card, card paper, you see this paper is kind has some thickness, but also for the normal, uh, normal paper, uh, by the way, it needs to be a dark color, right? Uh, you just need to use faster speed and less power. Uh, for that one, I use the speed of 20,000 and only 1500% power. So, and these are several acrylic war, uh, pieces. So for, acryl for acrylic, due to the color, we got the different age. For this, for this black skull, we got a really smooth age. But for the red one, it has a little bit, yes, you can see it's not smooth. So these are some woods, uh, and this plywood board, whole board was cut and engraved by our machine. So this is the material board that I'm gonna show you. And what's more, our machine can on, always do engrave on kind glass thing. You can see the glass cup. Yes, glass cup. And for those things, uh, for those cup, yes, it is transparent. Our laser beam won't just go through with it, but if you use a color paper to cover the surface and then do engraving work on the color paper, you, it will remain this beautiful picture on the transparent uh, things. This is the same as the, 
as what happened on the white ceramic plate. Okay, and where is it? The white ceramic plate. You just need to cover a uh, color paper and do the uh, do the engraving thing. So we got this little, really beautiful, really beautiful ceramic plate. So that is for the ceramic. Okay. So if you want, our machine can even engrave on booths like these pieces of cake. So. Don't worry about safety because our laser just like some really, 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 really high temperature beam. It just makes the surface a little bit darker. It just it won't cause anything harmful. Uh, not anything harmful. It won't do some hard, uh, it won't do harm to your body. It's just kind of like you are using a big fire to cook the food. So. And yes, that's two animals. I I just did the coloring thing. I think it's ugly. I I I will make it more perfect after the live. So, uh, what's more, some ceramic coffee cup. Now uh, you can see the picture. So, yeah, the coffee cup. And what's more, the ceramic vase and paper so that is some easter egg setting easter egg set that we made so it's really beautiful and i believe that is a big amount of our materials that can be engraved or cut and let us see how many time we still need okay only four minutes it's really fast. So if you think this uh, is too easy for your your children because some grown uppers won't like that. Oh, I forgot one thing, yes. Yeah, now it is okay. I was saying something's going wrong. You see the little cat? By the way, this cat was made by our machine. We just cut a piece of uh, acrylic board and set in some LED bubbles and got this really cute cat lamp. Oh, yes. Now you see our machine just doing the engraving part right now you can see those animals were coming out while the laser module is moving yeah sheep the roosters so it's kind of fast And you can always do some wood wood puzzle about uh, 3D version. Look at the, uh, maybe you can look at the earth there or, okay, it was, it was hidden back then. So, you can always do some puzzle kind of like this wooden elephant. I think this is, uh, this is suitable from grown uppers so you can see and it's easy to find map on the internet if you buy it it won't cost a lot or if or if you are if you are cool enough you can make one map of your own
Okay, welcome our friends to the live. I'm full of work. So glad you guys to come our live. And you're watching the Auto Leader Masters 3 cutting and engraving and children's plywood for a plywood puzzle. And this is the first layer, and we will cut the back, backboard later. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So, so now we got this. Okay, let's do a review though. Um, uh, just think about what I just said. Uh, if you want to create a map like this of your own, first you just choose the picture you want to do, and then pull it to the pull it to the desktop of the software, yes, the light bar, and right click the right click the picture and ch choose the chase the image and setting the statistics to the suitable place and check okay. So then you got the line of the picture. Okay, we finish it and click home. Okay. Okay, you see, we got this and those animals. We need two layers of the puzzle, so... Let's cut the backboard. Okay, now it is okay. And let's do the cutting job. And it costs four minutes. So let's get, let's keep it cool. Uh, let's make it fast. So you see, these are what we just got. You can see from the split camera. Yeah, this big cow. Okay, this donkey. Okay, this little cute pig. And this is the frame we got. And you see, it can just suit to the frame of the animal. 
So now we just need the backboard and do the combination or the assembling job. Yes, you see, and without a board, you just only can lift it like this. So I think it will finish really, really soon because yeah, it shows only needs three minutes more. Uh, we always use the speed of 302 pass to count the plywood board, but for the line I wanted to pass, so I used the speed of 200 but only one pass. That is because the plywood was combined by glue, and the glue uh, sometimes is thicker, sometimes is uh, less, uh, sometimes the glue is much more, so sometimes the uh, glue is less, it's not spread really smooth. So when the laser beam just touch the glue part, it may not cut the wood as, as efficient as the, the time that the laser beam goes through the normal wood part. So we use, three, uh, we use 302 pounds is to cut all those glues, but 200 is slower. So it will stay longer time on the glue part. So it will cut the plywood board by one time uh, faster. Okay, so uh, yes, I think it will finish really soon and I will show you how to combine this together. And this is the uh, root version I've made. So you see, because we left this little hole here, so it is easy to, so to peel it off. Okay, let us see, less than one minute. Okay. Okay, now it finished. We got this frame. And yes, we only need this one. So it is easy, you just need to make these two boards together and use some glue. It is really easy. You just need to let the glue you just need to apply the glue on the edge of the picture. But even though the glue is still kind of dangerous, so pay attention while using it. Okay, press it. Press it tight for several seconds to make sure it truly stick on the board. Mm. 
Now you see, it is strongly stick to the board, but um, I um, but I strongly recommend you to recommend you to wait till the glue is tr uh, fully dried. Because if this time you can see there are several glue left on the surface, so if you just press the board on, it may just stick the the, the animal board too. So don't <laughs> don't make that mistake. So I I can tell you that is because I I've made such mistakes before. So this is the this is the board we made today, and that is what it, it will looks like after doing the uh, after. Doing the assembling, okay, it's just the, the sheep and the cat is falling down. And let me press it to the board. So here it is. And if you want to get some other version, we still have the fruit version. And for the fruit version, we just... Oh, it just fell off. So uh, we got this. Uh, I just painted already. And you can see these orangey orange the watermelon grapes cherries lemon pear and apple and the pomegranate so you can see so uh though it is not a complicated puzzle but i think it is easy for some younger person to play and you can enjoy the painting part with your children too uh, and I, I just said, if you want to make, make gifts for some older children, you can always choose to engrave and cut and 3D puzzle. Uh, and just, you just need to find a map and just use our machine to engrave it. Um, by the way, we just cut the plywood board is three millimeters thick and with the speed we use is 200 millimeters and 100% power, only one pass for cut. And 1800 and 100% power for engrave. So if you want to redo this thing on your home, uh, that is some uh, statistics that you can do some as, a, as an example. So I think this is all for today's live and it's all, almost a 10. 20, uh, on 29 so i think the life for today is going to, uh, is going to the end and we made uh we made the fruit oh, not fruit sorry we made the animal puzzle for today's life and i show you how to cut plywood how to engrave plywood how to make a puzzle map of your own by using the software i hope you guys enjoyed today's live and truly know some way to make your own map um, because this map is kind of easy but i want you guys to truly know how to make your own map you by using the light burn the light burn uh, though it is complicated but it is still very easy to use um, but it's, uh, if you think it is still complicated, you can always choose our application. Our application can paint, can do QR code, can do power code, can do puzzle for you. Uh, so by talk, uh, talking by me is not an, uh, discussed by, uh, by my mouth. It's not really uh, good to you to experience. If you want to know what's, the, what's in the app, why not just download it? It's free. So hope you guys enjoyed today's live and it's time to say goodbye. And I'm Paul. This is Ultra. Bye guys.